Good morning. I'm Paul Rondo, Executive Director with American Life League, which happens to be the oldest Catholic pro-life education and advocacy group in the nation. Thank you. Thank you. About uh, 2,500 years ago, Aesop, the Greek slave, the one who wrote Aesop's fables, said something very interesting. He said, petty thieves we hang, the great ones we elect to high office. <laughs> the theft of freedom is certainly no small theft indeed, because American civil society, the longest free-running democracy in the history of the world, is built on three pillars, family, faith, and the law. And I would like to remind everybody across America today and everybody standing here, the words of Martin Neimoller, a famous Protestant pastor who spoke out against fascism. And he said this, first they came for the socialist. And I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. And then they came for the trade unionist and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. It is foolish to think that such things cannot happen in America. The very fact that this trial is happening is proof that not only can happen, it is happening in America. So I speak out for priests for life. I speak out for those who would ridicule me as a Catholic. I even speak out for those who fail to understand that under civil law, under civil law, my freedom of religion springs from the same well as all of their freedoms in the First Amendment. For if a government can impose its ideology on the religious, and supplant religious freedom, then quashing freedom of speech, freedom of the press, freedom of religion, freedom to seek redress from our own government are sure to follow. The personal freedom of every single American citizen, from atheist to apostle, is what, on, is, what is on trial here today. And today is the day for every American, speed of, uh, every American to speak out for the freedoms of every other American, including religious freedom, whether you be believer or not. Thank you. Thank you.